Hey guys, Kiko here. This video is about guitar strings and guitar picks. I've been receiving questions asking, you know, what kind of brand do I use or what kind of gauge do I use? So here we go. Let's talk about guitar strings and guitar picks. All right, strings, three things to consider. How re reliable is the string? Intonation and how do you feel? You know, the feeling of touching that string. Right, so three important things. So intonation, it really depends the situation. Of course, intonation for recording is, is a key factor, but you can always go back and in, 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 you know, prepare the guitar and retune the guitar. But live, and mainly when you have two guitarists on stage, and my whole career, basically I was playing with Angra, with Rafael Bittencourt, and now in Megadeth with Dave Mustaine, Two guitarists on stage, intonation is a, is a key thing because you don't want to hear like two guitars out of tune, right? So because of that, I remember playing using nines and it didn't really work. So then I, I changed it for tens and then it seems more, it, it seems like the intonation is better, mainly when you have two guitarists. So in Megadeth, I use 1052s because we have D standards uh, this standard tuning and a lot of riffing, right? So thicker bottom, um, so 1052s. And my solo stuff, I tune the guitar uh, standard tuning, so it's 1046. So I like the 1046. It feels great, sounds great. Intonation for live um, performances feels great. It's great. So 1046. That's that's my string. That's the gauge of the strings that I I've been using for many years. I tried nines. Um, I remember like in the, my early days using eights. And uh, if you, maybe if you play, you know, I, I know some great guitar players with great tones. They use eights, they use nines, but you know, like I know like Beep King, Billy Gibbons, I think Billy Gibbons use sevens or eights. Baby King use eights. You know, I have so many uh, players, right, that use like thinner strings and they have a great tone. So it's really the way you play as well. So, it, you, you know, for you, you have to, that's, that's why I was saying like, how, how do you feel? Because that's your point of contact, right? So it has to feel great, you know, how the feeling, because that's your music is gonna go through that touch, you know? So if you prefer like lighter strength, just go for it, but pay attention on, on inton intonation, right? Um, if you like thicker strings, but you wanna, tune down, like use this standard, great. Um, I think you, you lose a little bit of the brightness of the string when you use this standard. You gain other stuff, but you lose that, the harmonics, the, you know, the brighter, uh, the brighter side of, uh, of a string. Uh, but you do have strings made for uh, this standard tuning. So, you know, you can, you can experiment. That's why I think it's very important for you throughout your life Try the eights, the ninth, the tens, the elevens. I remember for for a while, I was using elevens uh, standard tuning. You know, pretty hard. You know, um, then I I got you know went back to the ten ten forty six. So how reliable is the string? So you have to try brands that it that are reliable because you know like you cannot save money using cheaper strings because imagine you're on stage and then you you rehearsed you're prepared you're like facing all the difficulties to be there on stage and then you have a uh, a broken string you know that's it's a horrible feeling it's a horrible feeling i do remember i don't break strings you know because i use the diary strings and they are really you know very reliable um I remember in Megadeth, uh, maybe once or twice, and we did over 200 shows, you know, so, you know, like, uh, no problem. But of course, we do change strings quite often, uh, maybe every two shows, three shows, you know, like a rotation system, you know. Of course, you don't change strings every concert, you know, every guitar in every concert. Uh, too many guitars to be changing strings. So, uh, you know, every, but kind of every two, three concerts, the main guitar of the concert, we might do like every two concerts. So keep changing the strings. At home, I don't change the strings. I'm too lazy for that. I, I might stay with two, three, four weeks, maybe. 
uh, using the same strings, but then I hear the intonation start, you know, start lo losing the brightness and the intonation, so then I change the strings. I like changing the strings myself. I mean, I don't like changing the strings, but yeah, let me refer rephrase that. I don't like changing strings actually, but it's okay to do it, you know. It's part of the, you know, part of the the job of me and guitar player. Actually, I do put here, you know, I have that's the one that I use. I actually have those boxes, you know, pretty cool stuff like the 25 sets. Okay, so that's the the 1046 NYXL, right? Um, you know, yeah, I just got some. I decided to do this video also because I got some new strings here. You know, the other day. Um, yeah, so where's my? Okay, that's the the one we use Megadeth. That's the NYXL 1052. And uh, yeah, I was like getting some. Uh, that's for the eight strings. 1074 eight strings. Um, and yeah, that's so necessary too. Um, that's the acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar string that I use. Pro Arte composite core uh, AJ45C for nylon acoustic guitar. But the nylon, I'm not super experienced. You know, I, I've been recording and playing live, but I, you know, I'm not a classical guitar player. I think there's more science to, to that. If you want to play like an entire one hour and a half concert with one guitar, nylon strings, it might be a bit more complicated than that. I know you might have to experiment more. I know like for recording, it's more about the noise, right? That the strings might produce when you you know when you're sliding your fingers um, and then for live is more about the projection of the string so have to find ways to have less noise for live is okay to have more noise to be a noisier string uh, and brighter because it projects better and for studio it might be that it's better to have less noise and then you don't need that much projection that's what I would say but I, I would suggest you to if you want to go super into nylon strings, I would suggest to ask a uh, classical um, guitar player, yeah. So one thing that I do a lot, I don't use any product on top of the strings, I don't like it. I wash my hands, that's what I do. I always, before playing, I wash my hands. I have to have my hands like clean, so it feels clean. I think like the strings has to be clean and smooth and you have to feel better, so that's the, the feeling part. It's like the, the back of the neck. It has to be nice and smooth and feels great. I don't care if the guitar has some dents or uh, scratches, but not here, never here. You know, I don't want to feel like some weird bumps here. Um, so the way it feels um, on the back of the neck and the strings, very important. So that's the feeling, intonation and um, the, how reliable is the string, mainly for live concert. Actually, one of the strings that I order is like the ninth. I think I have it here. Yeah, I do order like a long time I didn't try. So I, I did order some nine because, uh, um, yeah, two. I did order two nine, 942s because I want to try some guitars here with nine. Just to go back, just want to go back in time and, and get the feeling of playing with the nines and, you know, at home, you know, and, uh, me, you know, doing videos here, just to have some guitars might feel good, you know, as I have more than one guitar, so I can experiment having different guitars with different strings as well, you know. All right, so guitar picks. You know, I always have a box full of guitar picks, you know, I do have, I use those uh, Ibanez 1.14 millimeters, I have this one here from Daddario, um, the Megadeth ones. You can find those uh, picks on my web store, by the way, link down below. But um, yeah, I do have other ones here, but mainly those, mainly that's what I use. They just have different colors, red, black, and, and white. That's like the three colors of my <laughs> soccer team from Brazil, Sao Paulo. Yeah. But the main thing here 
that I would say that, I don't know, maybe when I was 18, I was already playing live, but not, not much. When I was 18, I remember going to a store in Brazil and I ordered 500. I mean, I, I came to the guy and said, I want to buy some picks. Uh, what do you want? The guy's like, I want this one, this 1.14 millimeters, I think or, or was the Tortex, I guess. Yeah, the, the, the purple one. Um, and then I bought 500. So like, I won 500. It was all the picks the guy had <laughs> in store, you know, 500. It was, I don't, I don't remember how much I paid, but it was a lot of money for me. It was like maybe buying, a, you know, a, pe a new pedal. I don't know, maybe more than that. 500. Because I was tired of looking for guitar picks and it was disturbing me the fact that you want to practice, you have to have the whole thing. The guitar has to be there. The guitar pick has to be there. And uh, it's like, oh, I don't have a guitar pick. Where's the guitar pick? Maybe it's in the living room. Maybe it's in the, the pocket of my pants. Maybe it's, you know, like this feeling, the, the twilight zone, or, you know, like the, the black hole. I decided to buy 500 guitar picks. So I had like a bag, just, just like I have like bags of picks here. You know, I always have picks all, you know, flying around everywhere, you know, because it's a thing that you need, you know, I mean, not Jeff Beck, maybe, but you need the guitar pick. So that's um, something that I recommend. Invest some money to have a bunch of picks. Maybe you're more organized and you you would like to put your guitar pick here and then you're like, you know, <laughs> but I'm not this guy. So because I tend to hold the guitar pick out, you know, in my hands, then I go somewhere like, you know, go out. I'm holding the guitar pick, you know. So then I'm back, then I put it in my pocket, then I change the pants, you know, like, and then a guitar picks somewhere. So you know what I'm talking about, right? So probably you know what I'm talking about. So, or you do like Jeff Beck and like, forget about this, and then, you know, just use the fingers, or you just go to the nearest store, or go online now and buy like, a, you know, a, a 100 guitar picks, and uh, yeah, and you're good to go. Also, guitar picks is something that you should experiment. You know, I remember using like smaller ones, bigger ones, metal ones, wood ones, you know, I, and then in the in end of the day, I was like, was a compromise of, okay, the brand that I can buy, I can have a lot because after you start doing concerts and then, you know, you're like throwing guitar picks all the time. So it's hard to have those expensive guitar picks and then, you know, like $30 guitar pick and like, you know, uh, like every concert, you you know, just throwing 20, 30 guitar picks. Um, it's kind of expensive, I would say. So, so it's a compromise of the pick that I like. It feels good, works well, and then it's easy to get a bunch of, you know. And uh, yeah, that's my recommendation. All right, guys, so I hope this was helpful for you, this video, and let me know what kind of strings you, ha you use, uh, the gauge, you like what kind of picks do you use and you if you also um, have this problem of losing guitar picks every day cheers to you in the next video